Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today I have here Sergey with me from Property Finder. Hello, Sergey. Hi, Cameron. Can you tell me a bit about Property Finder? Sure. Property Finder is an online real estate portal with more than 300 employees, uh, representing more than 40 nationalities. We have our headquarters here in UAE, Dubai, but we also have our team members in Egypt, Qatar, Turkey, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia. So we have a very interesting architecture here. Uh, can you tell me about the use case, what you're trying to solve? So uh, when we decided to split our monolithic application into the microservices, mm -hmm. we came up to our mind that we can use the Kubernetes cluster and the EKS. So, so you split the microservices. What kind of scale were you talking about in terms of microservices? So um, as for now, on the production environment, we are running around 20 instances mm -hmm. and around 2,000 containers every day. So that's a very large scale. Uh, in terms of, uh, so let's look at a, a use case that you have. Okay, um, so let's say a user wants to access our probityfinder.ae website. So first, where he goes, he's hitting our application load balancer. Yeah. Afterwards, our application load balancer is actually routing him to our Kubernetes cluster, where we have the website pod running, Mm -hmm. And our ingress controller is actually going to this spot. I also notice here you have EC2 spot instances in all your availability zones. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Sure. So when we um, configured our architecture, we figure out that we can run 100% on the spot instances, mm -hmm. even in the production workloads. That's very interesting, 100% spot instances. So how do you mitigate for spot failures? Um, so. As you know, the spot instance can actually go down. Mm -hmm. So first what we are doing, we have a proper redundancy for all our services. So let's say the website is running in minimum three nodes in each of the availability zones. So when we um, know that the one of the spot instance being marked for the termination, we have two minutes period to do something. We are listening to the event breach mm -hmm. for this particular uh, event, and then we're triggering the Lambda function, which is actually scaling up our auto scaling group mm -hmm. and draining the node which is marked for the termination. So, Sergey, what has been the benefit of using this spot based architecture? So, the spot based architecture is actually can help us to save up to 50% on our production environment. Uh, compared to on-demand instances, I'm assuming. Yes. That's great. So in terms of evolution of your architecture, what's next? So the next step is to use managed node groups, mm -hmm. um, which can help us to get rid of uh, these entire steps mm -hmm. and give all the things to the AWS to manage our spot instances. One last question for you. How do you monitor this environment? You are using spot, uh, spot instances, uh, Kubernetes clusters and pods. How do you monitor this environment? Yes, uh, the monitoring is very important uh, because we are running on the spot instances. We use Datadog, uh, which is giving us all the things that we need to monitor our Kubernetes cluster. Sergey, thank you for sharing your architecture with me today. Thank you, Cameron. And thank you for joining This Is My Architecture.